is such a thing as a perfect golf destination? Planet Golf explores what today's travelling golfer is looking for, and my journey takes us to all kinds of locations around the world, and I'll be finding out what exactly golfers want and whether these locations come up to scratch. Welcome to Tuscany, welcome to Wales, welcome to Cyprus, welcome to Atlantic Canada, a place famous for its culture and history. Visit today's choice for golfers. Well, Lugalina Golf Club is the oldest course here in Tuscany, and many believe it to be one of the finest as well. Well, let's talk about the two golf courses, the mountain course first of all. How tough a challenge is it? Well, it's the toughest course in Italy at the moment. Course rating is 150, slope is 75.1, so definitely a challenging course. The fact that you're there, you know, on the clubhouse as well, and the golf course, and you've got, basically every hole has a, a great view. When Faldo design, design a golf course, uh, they really look at the, the major qualities of what makes a great golf course, the, the strategic uh, outlook, the aesthetic quality. Go on. Yes. Birdie to finish, Ross. I'm happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, that was great. Really enjoyed it. You'll see to our right is the United States, and actually to our left of the hole here is uh, beautiful downtown St. Andrews. The airstrip you've got makes it very easy for people to just fly in and out and arrive here right on the doorstep. It's, you know, for a lot of our clientele who have limited time, yeah. you know, it really works out well because you can, you know, we can clear customs here too with advance notice. Right. So. You know, people coming in from New York or Toronto, you're only about 90 minutes away. For a country that's just 60 miles wide and 170 miles long, there's plenty on offer, especially when it comes to golf, with over 200 courses and standards to match the very best in Europe. What did the Ryder Cup do you feel do for Wales in terms of putting it on the golfing map? Well, it's been fantastic. I mean, Wales was voted the undiscovered golf destination in, in the world. The Ryder Cup really rubber stamped that, and it's, it's effectively opened the, the floodgates in terms of uh, tourism and inward investment, and it's been a great feel good factor. People must comment on the views there when they come here. They do. The views are fantastic. Really good. 15 holes with sea views. Uh, as you said, you get distracted from the golf because it's just looking at all the scenery. over recent years. Tiger Woods has been here, Bill Clinton. Yeah. What have they had to say about the place? And what did the likes of Paul Casey and Stephen Ames say when they came to play? So how much attention has this course got already? If you could sum up the appeal of Cape Breton, what would you say? Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh. You made it! You made it! Yeah. <laughs> we get a Canadian high five. Yeah, high five. <laughs> it's my birthday today as well, so I was never going to lose. <laughs> the problem with coming here on a golf holiday is that there are just too many other distractions. Here's our list of the top five. It really is amazing to come here and, and see this monastery and to give you some idea of the numbers that come. On the 15th of August this year, the day of the Holy Virgin, over 100,000 visitors that came to this monastery. Well, that's all we've got time for this week, but don't forget to join us again soon when we visit another inspiring location for the discerning golfer. Bye for now.